The American and Russian weapons on full display at Vietnam's uh, first ever international defense trade show in Hanoi. Both world powers keen on vying for influence through weapon sales to the strategic Southeast Asian nation. Manufacturers from some 30 countries are competing for a slice of the lucrative market in the region as Vietnam seeks to diversify its weapon suppliers. Tung Do has more. Vietnam's first large-scale defense exhibition is off to a flying start. The event gives a rare glimpse into Vietnam's military arsenal, of which about 80% comes from Russia. Russia is traditionally Southeast Asia's largest arms supplier, with exports totaling some 11 billion US dollars over the past two decades. And Vietnam is its biggest customer in the region. But this is starting to change, with Russia hit by sanctions following its invasion of Ukraine in February. Other exporters, both within and outside Asia, are moving in to fill the void. India makes up the biggest contingent of exhibitors at the expo after host country Vietnam, and it's emerging as a top contender, with countries like Vietnam and the Philippines looking to buy technologies such as missile systems to show up defenses in the face of Chinese aggression in the disputed South China Sea. Vietnam uh, Armed Forces, they were showing interest in Akash weapon system. So there was a gap, but now we are ready to work with them, cooperate with them. We are ready to work as a joint development, joint production, and the joint manufacturing thing. We, we are ready to do it. The U.S. too has a sizable contingent, with about 10 exhibitors, such as aerospace giant Lockheed Martin, more than double the number compared to Russia. Our, our interest is in deepening even further our two countries' relationship in general, but our, our defense cooperation in particular. And being able to participate in exhibitions like this, I think, shows the quality of American products um, as we look to help Vietnam accelerate its own stated policy of modernizing and diversifying its military, increasing its capabilities to defend its interests. These are all things that the U.S. and Vietnam uh, share. But some experts say it will take years for markets like Vietnam to switch to Western-made arms due to issues like compatibility with existing systems. Vietnam cannot switch overnight or in in the near in the near term uh, from Russian arms from Russian weaponry to to other countries. Uh, most of Vietnam's military equipment is from Russia. Vietnam will need spare parts, it will need munitions, it will need upgrades from Russia. Uh, so it can't e quickly or, or easily switch to another country. The Vietnam International Defense Expo will run until Saturday. Tung Ngo, CNA, Hanoi.